Tirukuda Sutta. The Tirukuda Sutta is the discourse on transference of merits to the departed. It is targeted at departed ones who are in spirit form. The discourse was preached on the third day of the Buddha's visit to Rajagaha, the capital of King Bimbisara's kingdom. The night before, King Bimbisara faced a great outcry and screams from petas or hungry ghosts, who had once been related to him in their previous births. King Bimbisara accumulated boundless merits after offering alms to the Buddha, but he did not transfer the merits. To his departed relatives, after the Buddha had explained to Kimbi Misara the reason for the outcry from the Petas, he offered again alms to the Buddha and the Holy Sangha, but this time around, in memory of his departed relatives, thereby making the Petas very happy. The departed spirits stand outside houses, at corners, and at crossroads. They receive food and drinks offered to them by relatives of their previous births who think of them. In the land of the departed, there is no opportunity to grow food or to make merit, so the departed live on what they receive in this world. At their point of death, weeping, sorrow, and other forms of lamentation do not benefit them. However, They can benefit from the merits obtained from good deeds, such as making offerings to the sangha. When we offer alms to the monks in the name of our departed relatives, we perform four kinds of duties. First, the living relatives have a duty of honoring the departed ones. Second, we show a good example for others to follow. Third. Making offerings to the Holy Sangha is a way of showing our support to them, so that they continue their noble services and provide guidance to others on how to lead a noble and harmless life. And finally, it leads to the accumulation of abundant merits for us. It is our duty and responsibility to remember our departed ones. We can do some meritorious deeds like caring for the sick and the old people, caring for the homeless, support education, provide food for the needy, and making offerings or alms to religious people in the name of the departed. Merits gained from such deeds would be transferred to our departed relatives, who depend on us since they are not able to create these merits themselves. We can also invite devas to share in these merits. When the departed relatives in spirit form are remembered and are satisfied, they would express their happiness and gratitude by in turn wishing for our well-being.